So recently I was at my local library and I was shocked to what I found. I walk up to the front of the library and there was a rental unit much like Redbox, you know those units. For those of you that don't know what Redbox is, just a rental unit where you could rent DVDs, Blu-rays, and video games. And it usually has like the newest stuff. I go to my library and I see this rental unit where you can rent video games and movies. And I'm like, this is crazy. I mean, this is kind of like the sign of the times. Whenever I'm in the library, you know, I don't, I see people reading books, but I see people on the computers and they're playing games. And this is actually really brilliant. People get their entertainment in lots of different ways. You know, the, the library for years, years and years has been renting out movies and of course books, obviously. But the past several years, they're, they have rented out video games, but for the most part, they've been games that have been, you know, quite old or they've just been sports titles. I haven't been to my local library in quite a while. I went there and I was surprised to see games there that were less than a year old. So I started to do some research. I was actually kind of surprised what I found out. Granted, the videos you're about to watch or the clips you're about to watch are clips that are quite old, but I found them really fascinating and exciting of what maybe the direction is to be or hopefully will be for gamers around the world. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to show to you guys is a clip from the University of Michigan. And let me just play the clip for you right now. This archive is part of the University of Michigan Library. We have uh, over 7,000 different games for about 70 or 80 different systems going back oh, to the uh, 1970s, back to the era of Pong and the Atari and the Intellivision, all the way up to the present day, uh, modern systems like the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Over 7,000 games and around 70 to 80 consoles. I find it hilarious that whoever did the editing included, when they said they have the newest video game consoles, they included a clip of the Sega 32X. It's hilarious, I mean the 32X even have it there in that library is, is pretty rad. You see those guys there, some of them I'm sure should be studying and I can imagine you know, spending hours playing games and later that night they get a call from their mom, honey, how are you doing? He's like, oh, mom was, was really rough. I was really working hard at the library. And to be quite honest, I didn't have time to go to the grocery store. Is it okay you send, you know, send me some more money so I can you know, just buy pizza? Oh, honey, you've been really extending yourself. Let me send you some more money so you don't have to go grocery shopping. Go ahead and get some pizzas. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. I mean, the, the student who's playing games maybe has a limited or really low workload at the college. That guy is living the life. And so next up, the next clip I found on YouTube is actually they're talking about a collection that this library has of games. Show it to you guys right now. The Naperville Library has a whole new way to entertain guests through gaming. The library will be adding video games to their long list of things to borrow. More than 300 titles will be available for Wii, Xbox, PlayStation 3 and 4, and Nintendo DS. Customers tell us that they want gaming in the library. We know this through the surveys we've conducted and through the comments we receive from the public. So we are now answering this request and starting a gaming collection. Oh, well, this totally makes sense. There's a lot of kids out there that are really into Netflix or their other social media apps, or if they're into gaming, they're, you know, they're there with their PC or their PS4 or whatever they're into. And with the libraries, now more than ever, they're really trying to bring the youth out uh, and, and just kind of get them interested. Say, hey, we got more than books, we got more than magazines, we got more mo than movies and CDs. You know, who listens, who, who literally listens to CDs? Not a whole lot of uh, teenagers now, nowadays. Now, to be honest, I'm really jealous of this collection at this library. Over 300 titles, that is way more the amount of video games at my local library. But I was really interested and kind of confused at what this lady said next. The library dedicated $100,000 to buy the collection, which will be available in late February. $100,000 for 300 games. More than 300 titles will be available for Wii, Xbox, PlayStation 3 and 4, and Nintendo DS. The library dedicated $100,000 to buy the collection. You know, 300 games, let's just say that they bought all new games at the $60 price tag. You know, 300 times 60, you know, that's less than $19,000. $100,000 for a collection that should be less than 20 grand. I'm wondering if there in fact are, you know, a lot of common games but in fact some really rare titles as well for a 300 game collection to span $100,000. 
Maybe what she was meaning was that, in fact, in the future, they're going to buy more games, hundreds of more games to be able to bridge or to be able to spend that uh, funding for $100,000. But regardless, that library is really stocked with a whole lot of games. Hopefully, a lot of them are really impressive. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, at your local library, do they have games or do they have games worth getting? Do they have games that have been out for less than a year? When I went to my library, there were some games and a lot of them were actually less than a year old. You know, they had, of course, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 games, but in fact, they had Super Lucky's Tale, which granted, some people like, other people not so much, but this is one that's less than a year old. And also, I got for the 3DS Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and Bar Bowser's Minions. Both these games are under a year old. You know, I played um, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga when it first came out on the Game Boy Advance, loved it, played it from start to finish. In both these games, it's you know you can rent them for free. Uh, I really hope this is something down the road. You know, for of course, like I said, for years, video games have been made available at my local library and libraries throughout the world. But I think now more than ever, librarians and libraries and organizations are starting to understand that it's kind of important to have somewhat new games and new entertainment available. Uh, if they want to kind of compete or get the youth interested in coming into the library. Of course, you can always have the books and the other things that's, that's also important. But gaming is just an, such an important part of an entertainment and culture. And uh, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. But uh, anyway, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later.